All right, hey guys, Mike from Morgan's Vaping Reviews. Jay Jones. How's it going? You guys probably know him now. He's done done quite a bit now. Uh, tonight we're doing it's Ragnarok. And oh, can you call their website up? Yeah. Uh, we camcorder died, so we're using the laptop, and uh, so we can't really call up the website. So he'll do it on his phone. This is Ragnarok, and the flavor is. T Y R Focus. Some pretty pretty crazy artwork there. So let's go A for effort on the labeling. When he calls up the website, we're gonna go over the viscosity of it and it says it's 50-50. Oh 50-50. Yeah, and it's lusciously sweet vanilla. Combined with a taste of delightfully fresh strawberries. There's not enough that can be said about this perfect dessert concoction. Comes in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligram nicotine strings. Not enough can be said about this perfect concoction. 0, 6, 3, 12. Yeah. 50 50 blend. The bottle's almost empty because I put it in a unicorn bottle and I gave it to my mother. And I left just a little bit for the review. And she likes it. Oh, yeah. She loves it. Yeah, she loves it. So now we'll have our take on it. Uh, she's got it in a Aspire Nautilus tank on a MVP 20 watt. And she loves it. I think she she's done. She vaped the whole thing. Nice. By the way, just uh, I'm going to have her do a video soon with me. Uh, <coughs> but just to do a quick update, she has not gone back to smoking. She... Uh, She'll be 70 years old next month, and she's been smoking a very long time, and I got her onto vaping uh, a while ago now, a couple, just about a month maybe, and she's liking it now. She'll come to the house, and she'll go through my flavors and try different flavors. Like, uh, It's never too late to, uh, to try something different. It's, exactly. never, it's never too late to... Uh, Pretty soon your mom's going to have a snow wolf, and yeah, I'm start I, checking actually, clouds. I, I'm, I, I do want to get her a better a better setup because those little Nautilus mini tanks, like, I don't know. Uh, she could get more flavor off like a sub tank. Or oh, something. for sure she could. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the name is TYR, and they've got some sick artwork. I'm usually skeptic when I see so much fucking work done on the labeling. It doesn't come with a dropper tip. I'm going to use uh, this one that I got from Shipwrecked. Uh, for their castaway because it's such a strong orange they send it to you uh, separately all right smell test i guess I mean, it's supposed to be like the strawberries and cream so i smell the strawberries smell the cream strawberries and cream yeah what do you think i'm sorry i don't you don't no this smells like nail polish remover. Really? To me. He smells strawberries and cream. Well, we'll find out, I guess, when we taste This it. smell. Smell that again. I may hack up a lung and smell it. No. Oh, come on. I don't smell it. You know, I'm going to try some. It smells to me like nail polish remover. Maybe it tastes better than it smells. It is in a sick, so. Oh, and also... Uh, the owner of Vapors Anonymous had sent this to me. He, you can buy it off his website. I'm not. Where are they? Where is this company located? In? Uh, I think they're out of the states. I'm not sure where. Okay, so yeah, I do uh, juice reviews on mostly Canadian-made juices, but I also do it on juices that are available in Canada. Vapors Anonymous sells it on his website, uh, so you can go to him. He ships right out of Manitoba, so you can get it to your front door without any issues, uh, which is why I'm doing the review. But I sent him a message asking him if he knew if this juice had food coloring in it. Because I honestly don't like to do a juice review for a company that uses food coloring. So I think it was about two days later, he got back to me and he said that he sent them a message asking flat out, do you have food coloring in TYR? And they responded, no, no food coloring. And I don't like to call people liars, but... Well, it could be because of the nick and the cream. I don't know. That's just, it just seems like such a, 
I have a few other juices from the States that are that color that are strawberry creams and stuff like that. I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you think no? No, I don't think so either. You don't think it's food coloring? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the guy from Vapors Anonymous got back to me. He said no. My opinion, I don't know. I think there might be food coloring in this. And I could be wrong, and I know I shouldn't say it unless I have proof, but... We're not making, like, any, like... There might be. There might be. It's a maybe. Yeah, because I, I've had other juices that are strawberry cream. Countless, countless, like hundreds of different juices. And they haven't had that dark of an of a orangey kind of hue. My, my six and, and that I have at home are the, exactly like that. The reason I'm thinking food coloring is the color of the juice is so damn close to the color pattern on the label. You know? Is it, yeah. Okay, and, anyways, it maybe there's not, maybe there is. I don't know. Who knows? Because a company could could lie or they could be honest. Yeah, so, who knows? You never know. Smell test to me, it's very strong. I smell like it smells like a very chemical kind of nail polish kind of remover. I see where this is going. <laughs> Ragnarok. Alrighty. T Y R. What does TYR stand for? I don't know. It's, maybe, is it a mythical creature? <coughs> it looks, probably. It looks like a Viking kind of little bastard on there. See that? I don't know if it'll focus. Norse mythology. Norse. Viking Age Norse mythology, however, is now blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, I guess he's like almost like, he certainly seems to have been regarded as one of the principal war gods of the Norse, along okay. with Odin and Thor. Okay, so, so in, he's the less known god of like war. Okay. Let's go with that. In Norse, that is historically correct. So TYR is a Norse god of war, a Viking god of war. <clears throat> Available at Vapors Anonymous. And it looks like a Viking, you're right. So I'll put a link to their website Still got that if they got a Facebook there, page. Guess. And I'll also put a link to Vapors Anonymous because if you live in Canada, you can order it through him and not have to worry about uh, Health Canada caring so much about your health. Health Canada would rather you go up to the gas station and buy a pack of fucking smokes. Yep. Fuck. How fucky is that? Fucking Health Canada. Unreal. I think it's less about health and more about money. It is, of course. Okay. I dripped it, yeah? Yeah, you did. Okay. See, you talk way too much. I know. In between dripping. I know. <laughs> that, that's why I have a YouTube channel. That's exactly a good talker. You go first. Take a bigger pull. As big a pull as you can. I find it not to be that strong, even for a six, though. You know what? It's it's not that great. <clears throat> it's not very strawberry. What do you think? How's that nick for you? Hmm. I'm not going to mention the throat hit. Because it wouldn't be fair. This is a six mg. Uh, I usually I usually vape three in my dripper. So yeah, this is a throat hit. But I vape six sometimes, and I find this to be not that strong of a six throat hit. Yeah, this is a throat hit, but it doesn't it doesn't hit you like a six. No. So they're probably using it feels more like a four or a five. Yeah, they're probably using decent nick, but there are some companies out there that kind of use some fuckery. Yeah. And use shit nick. Yeah, but the, the nick's not bad. No. I'm like, but why the hell would they, why wouldn't they put a dripper lid on here? Why wouldn't they? There's no need for that. Yeah, it's uh How am I going to get my juice out? Well, I'm not going to drip a 50-50 anyways. No, no. I'm not even going to use it in any of the tanks I use. No. I don't like it. You like it? No, I don't. You, oh, you don't like it? No. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you gave this to your mom now. Oh, wow. 
I, I hate it. I think it's, uh, you know, not one of my favorites. Okay, what, what am I supposed to be tasting again? Strawberries and cream, and that's not what I'm tasting. Strawberries and cream. Yeah, when I found out after, I tasted it, it tasted good, but then I looked it up after we, we t I tried it. And I was like, no, no. <coughs> Why are you doing it? Don't do it. I'm trying to give it a, a fair, honest review. Uh, you know you don't like it. You're going to have more? Yeah, I'm going to have more. It's... I'm not gonna like. Yeah, it's got it's got a pretty serious fucking throat it, but that's because I'm not used to six. So that's nothing against the company to throw sure. it. That's just because it's six. But I want to focus on what I'm supposed to be tasting. But I'm not tasting the strawberry cream. I'm supposed you? to be tasting strawberry with a cream. Ugh. I've never done this on camera before. <laughs> I've never reverted to like using my actual vape that I'm using normally when I'm on the go. I'm not tasting strawberry. I'm 43 years old. I've had lots of strawberries in my life. Uh, I grew up in Sudbury, Ontario, and my grandfather and my grandmother used to bring me to Byers Berry Farm, where we'd pick our own strawberries. If the strawberries tasted like this, they could have been charged with child abuse. I do not taste strawberry. No, me neither. I've had, I couldn't even count how many vapes with a strawberry flavor. And some taste like a sweet strawberry. Some taste like a natural strawberry. Yeah. But none of them taste like this. This, no. If, if I didn't, if I had, if you didn't look it up, and if you took a drag no, of that. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. when you had me try it, like when we did a few reviews ago, and I tried it, I was like, oh, I like it. But then I went home and I looked at the profile of the flavor. Yeah. And I was like, no, that was way off. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, you know, like yeah. what but, the hell? But like honestly, that if you were to buy this and not read the flavor description, and then somebody said, quick, what do you taste? And just put you on the spot like that without telling you what it's supposed to taste like. I don't know what I taste. You would never say oh i taste strawberries uh, i taste some cream maybe so so let's let's it doesn't taste like strawberries so let's focus on what it does taste like cream you taste cream i taste cream like probably a bavarian cream and that's why this is so dark like have you seen a bavarian cream flavoring it's dark <laughs> i don't even know what i taste in that It, it almost tastes like orange, like like a. It tastes like a. Well, you could be tasting some of that, that potent orange from that thing. Oh, it could be. A, it's a. Because you got the end of it, I had the beginning, so I didn't get any. Yeah, it's just. If you're going for a, if, if you want a nice smooth strawberry flavor. Yeah, this was not the one. There's a lot of other ones on the market. Yeah. Uh, Milkman by. Um, Milkman is a good one. Um, that's the one by One Hit Wonder. One Hit Wonder, yeah. yeah. Not the one by the other, uh, I forget what they're called, Vaping Rabbit or something. I think. Yeah, like, or maybe, I don't remember. But, uh, I don't know. That's... That's not on point at all. No, it's not. Uh, someone... Disappointed. Someone out there might like it, but honestly, like if it says strawberry in the flavor description, you want to taste strawberry. <clears throat> I don't taste strawberry at all. It doesn't taste like a sweet candy strawberry. It doesn't taste like a natural strawberry. It doesn't taste like any It doesn't strawberry. taste like strawberry, period, like at all. Okay. So uh, you got a beautiful label. It's a high gloss. You want to talk about the label? It's high gloss. It's shiny. It's smooth. It looks like it's not going to smear if the juice comes in contact with it. It's uh, it's a, probably an... If you're a bottle collector, you yeah. nice bottle. Oh, what a nice bottle. I'm going to put that on my shelf like... But what's inside it doesn't taste like strawberry. And what's inside it matters. I'd rather have a shitty label and good juice inside. Yeah, I'd rather have a plastic fucking bottle. With, with written on the name. Yeah. I'd rather have it, that. It just, it doesn't taste like strawberry. A matter of fact, I'll whip you up a strawberry cream after. Okay, this, <laughs> this does not taste like strawberry. It doesn't taste no. like strawberry, not even close. No. Uh, but Ragnarok... TYR, whatever company you're using for your labels, good job. 
you got you got some really nice labels. On point with the labels, yeah. off point with the juice. I love your labels. Have a good night.